Okay, now that our cellar's done, I've got some other projects to do on this boat, but first, I'm gonna have my coffee. And then we'll get back out there and get to it. Gotta get out of this marina. I'm gonna put my rear light back on. It was all the way up there. And I see the reason they did that, because the dinghy davits, they uh, didn't want the dinghy blocking the light. But when I cruise, I cruise down low. It keeps my center gravity, keeps the boat from rocking as much. And uh, it's also easier to get the dinghy up and down. But I'm gonna put this back right here. And uh, it just bolts on over here. And it's once again factory. Plus I get rid of all this AC wire that they brought on here. I've got a project for that later on. I'm, I don't let things go to waste. First thing I'm gonna do is just clip off my wires. I like to clip them close because I don't like to waste any excess wire. That may be too close. We'll see if I can strip that. And that. There we go. Okay, I have a nice little LED light and black up here, white down here. Top goes that way, so that would be my top, would be pointing towards the black. Okay, it looks like we'll just barely have enough wire to reach inside here once I put the terminals on. I might have to strip this uh, back a little bit and, of course, get my connectors on there. Okay, have my two connectors on. Now I'm going to heat shrink them. Remember, black goes uh, up, so got to get that in there right. Got them heat shrunk through the hole, and let's install our light. Okay, black. Okay, black is going up, white is going down. Now let's see if it works. Yeah. There we go. Now we just need to put on the cover. Bad thing about working out a boat is you never knew, know what you're going to lose to Davy's locker. And that locker is right there. Okay, that is a job done. And that looks a lot better than that wire running all the way around. It was just zip tied all the way up there around and it was hanging up in the old solar panels. Finish it off with a little black conduit, makes it look pretty good, I think, or pretty bad, whatever your opinion is. And my baby is cleaning up the house. Wow, you made a mess <laughs> I still have some mess to clean up. Mm -hmm. That vacuum works pretty good though. Okay, so just defrosted the fridge. And this is one thing I love about my panel I made or my modifications I made to the electronic thermostats and the two selections of uh, eco mode and super cold on our freezer. I can uh, set in the center, I can set it to off, and it makes defrosting this fridge so much easier. So much, and that, that extra fan that really helps. So, and it's still pretty chilly in there, but look at this. This is this is what we pulled out of there. That's a big old pile of ice. Yeah, my babe is making us into the barrel dinner. <clears throat> now it's basically they call it a poor man's um, steak. Salisbury steak. No, poor man's steak. Okay. And it's with ground beef seasonings, and then you uh, kind of like put some flour on the top of it, or like. And put it in flour and make them in patties, and then you cook them. And I normally don't do this. This is this is bad. Mm -hmm. And then you put a cream of mushroom gravy on top of it, <laughs> and then you cook some rice. 
Yum. I, we haven't gone to the grocery store. The only, the only thing I have right now is like cans. And this is the last of our meat. Literally mm -hmm. the last of our meat. Our son is coming to visit. <laughs> we were going to go to the grocery store today, but it was raining all day and we literally backpack it. So he's coming tomorrow and he has a car. Yep. Yeah. Well, you saw earlier. I was... Guess who's taking us grocery shopping <laughs> tomorrow in a car? <laughs> Oh, our son. Be high class. Be a, Haven't done that in a while, other than when we rented a car a month ago. But you saw the freezer; it was pretty much empty. I just the steak. I mean, the, the meat was already defrosting. So, yeah. But and then this girl's got to get back on her recipe game. She cooks for me every night. It's literally two hurricanes. My husband's had this house entirely, you know, messed up, working on stuff. When was I supposed to have my videographer? <laughs> yeah. So it stopped my stuff. Yep, I did. So, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're on the boat. There's our son, and this is his uh, first close up SpaceX launch. So we're listening to the countdown. Just yell when you uh, need to stop. Oh, okay. How you doing? Just like about a foot. A little bit more. A little bit more. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, these cables are good. There's no rust or nothing. You want to go up higher to the next spreader? Yeah. <laughs> You there? What? You got to yell. I can't hear you. You have to yell. <laughs> oh, you are? Bella. Bella. Uh, Bella. How much, how much further? Oh, you got a long way. Oh, this freaks me out. My son is up here. <laughs> are you there? How high do you want me to go? Uh, are you checking the next spreader? Uh, come out and look. I don't know where I'm at. You're almost... That's, You're at the, the, that's the spreader. Check the connections there. What, these things? Yeah. They look good. Oh, okay. You want to go higher? You want to go higher? I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust, but they're good. Okay. You ready to go up? Oh, I'm going lower? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he wants to, babe. What does he need to go up for? Oh, my goodness. No, I don't like it. Bring my son down. Now, how are you now? You need to go higher, huh? Good. What? Everything looks good. Okay. You want to come down? Or you want to go all the way to the top? Take a picture. You want to take a picture? Wait, you want me to check that thing? If you want to. No. No, you don't have to. Just come back down. You want to go up or down? Oh, no, we can go up. Okay. Everyone stop, baby. Um, right there. Uh, 
Okay. How's it look up there? I don't see any rust, it's good. Okay, take your picture. Okay. Don't drop your phone. Working on it. <coughs> you're you're about 49 foot in the air. Take a few pictures. <laughs> what do you think, baby? I, I don't like it. And I'm not, to go up there. I'm not gonna like sending you up there either. I don't like it. This is too scary. I don't like it. Alright, good. Alright, you ready to come down? Yeah. Okay, it's going fast. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you're going. Is that too fast? Nah, you're going slow. <laughs> Okay, how are we doing? Tell me if that'd be a stop. Keep going. Okay. Safely down. <laughs> Safely down. Okay, we didn't get to see the SpaceX launch, but I launched him up the mast. <laughs> he got a great view. What did you think up there? Oh man, it looks pretty cool up there. Where's the wire going? <laughs> Okay, what are you doing? All right, guys. Found this uh, Starbright pad with this uh, Starbright pole online. Pretty good for getting under the boat. Uh, fresh bottom paint. It's just knocking off all the fuzz and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm doing this, and my babe is out here finish up the stainless steel. And we're gonna get this. Not really finishing up. it up. What? I'm gonna be spending months on this crap. There's so much of it. <laughs> but yeah, so this this very handy. And uh, also you can put other attachments on it, uh, like push poles and <coughs> brushes and things like that, because it just clips on at the end. So it's got spring clips. But yeah, you got a boat and you don't come out of the water much, this may be a great option for you. Okay, my baby's taking care of that stainless steel. This is, it is starting to look really good. But, How many uh, times do you already think I have to do this? <laughs> Probably more than we do it now. But yeah, we're final push because we're leaving the marina soon. No unlimited water and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I guess. The barnacles, there's a few little barnacles on the hull. I uh, got them off and uh, scraped all the way down to the, the keel with that thing. It was, spans out to 10 foot long. Look at that, look at that stainless steel though. It's looking good. And uh, you'll see the bottom bar here. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like before. I'm gonna get something in the sunlight. It looks like that. So, yeah. So, our son came and visited. He jumped out of the airplane. 
He went up the mast, and now he's going off to Daytona for more adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And mom's not happy about it. Why? You gotta have adventures when you're young. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, we're, uh, tomorrow is our last day here, and uh, yeah, we're doing some last minute cleaning to get out of here. Yeah. He's already cleaning. Yeah. He's already dirty again. <laughs> About a few weeks, it's dirty, so gotta get her cleaned up and then we'll get out of here. And then I gotta check, of course, anchor chain, things like that. Okay, looking at our anchor chain, may have to cut a few links off. Of course, first I have to tie up that, uh, our anchor there. Okay, so I got my anchor tied up back here. And uh, I'm leaving this tight so I can cut. I think I'm gonna cut right about here. I think these links start looking better. And I just lose a uh, six inches anchor chain. Of course, I'm gonna wear some kind of eye protection because, uh, yeah, eyes are probably critical for our adventures. I noticed after about six months, some of my anchor, uh, my safety wire that I had tied on here had uh, one piece broke off when I was untwisting it. So, you know, this is probably a every six month thing to replace. Of course, we are in very brackish waters. Okay, so I have the anchor chain cut. And it's still quite warm. That last link is kind of warm, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Let's do this, so you just untwist this. Slide down your chain. You're gonna put this, of course, on your new chain. And then there's a pin that goes through right here. And you just pull that pin out. It just slides either way. And uh, good thing we're not over water. You see, I want to keep that chain. And that's what our chain looks like. So it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, I just want to be safe. And uh, probably going to replace this chain here soon. Okay, so to put this in, I got the pin in, got the chain in, and you just, this is twist around, and you tighten it until you can get some safety wire through that little hole right there. And uh, that seems to be good. Okay, and then I take and I tie, I'm using stainless steel ties, and I tie four strands. These are separate strands in case one breaks. They won't all break. And I'm using this stuff, supposedly military grade. Uh, we all know what that means. It's probably overpriced and the same value as some other things, but this is what I got. So now that our anchor is secure, I'm gonna go put up my tools and I gotta start cleaning the deck. My babe's back there. She's cleaning in there in the cockpit. So getting this uh, boat all ready to push out on Thursday, which is in a couple days. Okay, we got the front of the boat looking clean. This will last for probably a couple hours. And the back of the boat, look at that, them winches still shiny. And all white and pretty. This will last for as long as that thing uh, allows it to. But she cleaned up front, and uh, I cleaned, uh, I mean, she cleaned back here, and I cleaned up front. <laughs> and my back had it. Okay, so this is the day before we leave, and uh, I gotta get uh, this boat ready. I'm gonna take out some of the lines, and uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna back out and go that way, because my prop walk is to port and uh i have that which is really close so that with the uh, full length of my boat out i'd be touching that and the wind i believe it's going to be coming uh on my port so that'll help blow in my front or blow my front around 
And now I'm gonna have a line over to this uh, here over here, this T, T head, and uh, hopefully pull the uh, ass in my bow around. Okay, so we still have our double lines on from the hurricane. I'm gonna take off the double lines. I'm gonna keep the lines there just wrapped around so I can pull them off easy from the helm on the, the back here. And we'll have two lines on the front holding the boat. I have four right now. And now I'm gonna take the spring lines on the front of the boat off and uh, just keep our back and rear spring lines. And because that will keep us from hitting the dock. Because if you notice the angle of these lines here, we're a little bit longer than the dock is. Okay, so I got my lines all uh, sorted out. And I got that line. I think I'm going to take that spring line and retie it so I can just pull it from that uh, pylon over there. And uh, top off our water tanks, we hold 150 gallons. And yeah, then we hopefully are pretty ready for tomorrow. It's supposed to be 18, 19 knots of wind, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can just uh, take that spring line I have and put it over there. And they can, you know, if I need help, they can pull the back end around, which my prop lock goes to port, so that should help, but uh, yeah. Hopefully we get it. Well, I know we'll get out here okay. Okay, we're back on anchor. We backed completely out of that slip. I've got the lines up. I've got uh, uh, the snubber on. And uh, yeah, now I have to just clean up this mess I have in here. Yeah, yeah so I got all that to finish and yeah. We made it. My uh, dumbass forgot to uh, turn on the, uh, open the seacock for the engine while we are coming out of here. So, got the engine a little warm. Hopefully I didn't uh, damage the uh, impeller. As soon as I opened it up, it cooled back down. But- uh, I didn't remind him. She didn't remind me. That's my so, dog. Yeah. I was going to, but the last time he said, I know. So I thought, <laughs> I thought okay, I'm not gonna say it this time because he probably did. But I, I didn't. I didn't. So y'all stay tuned, and uh, we'll be coming back uh, next week. Uh, of course, I'm gonna check out the engine, make sure I didn't damage that, and uh, which it's running fine. And uh, we're gonna go have a little island time, and we're back on anchor, and then we're gonna head out of Tysville and go somewhere else. Yep. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you like our channel. Go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like. It's down there. It looks like this. And uh, if you uh, want feedback, comments, whatever, you just tell us. You can call me out for not opening the seacock for our engine. That was <laughs> that was our deal. And be sure to check out this girl's recipes. Uh, she uh, does them. Well, I got it. She's I, way behind, I, but yeah. she has a lot of recipes though. She has uh, about 300 recipes on the I got, website. I got stopped with. Yeah solar yeah but she has 300 recipes on the website y'all go check them out uh link down below chris does what or dining with dining in with danielle.com and y'all please take care back to rocking back to rocking <laughs> Bye.